All right, and we're live. So welcome everybody to the Building Your Brand session with CNTF. Um, I'm calling in from LA and with me is Charlie and she's calling in from Berlin. Uh, we're very excited to be with you uh, this morning. And with that, I guess we'll kind of jump into the slide deck. Uh, so I'm Bill Mulligan, I'm a marketing manager at CNCF. Um, if you have any questions um, during it, please feel free to reach out to me. All my socials are there. And also as we're going through the presentation, if you have questions, like please feel free to either drop them in the chat um, or message us directly. And so Charlie, do you wanna give a little introduction? Yeah, hello. So as you can hopefully read, I'm Charlie Mann and I manage content strategy for CNCF. And by content, we mean end user stories. So case studies, spotlights, Fippy and friends. Um, think of me as someone who helps folks who consume or contribute to cloud native projects tell their stories. Um, as Bill said, I'm in Berlin. So thankfully, I didn't have to get up as early as <laughs> I'll be joining you all virtually uh, for the next three days of KubeCon. And it is really fantastic to see so many of you lovely folks here. I'm really looking forward to helping you find ways to leverage CNCF's many storytelling and promotional streams to build your brand. Awesome. And with that, I guess we can jump in. Okay. All right. So there's kind of three main areas that CNCF kind of provides to its members and also people to help build their brand. So the first one is marketing amplification and brand awareness. The second one is cloud native community engagement. And the third one is thought leadership across like technology trends. And so as we're going through the program, we're going to break them down into these three buckets. But obviously, these aren't like hard and fast rules. A lot of the programs um, like mix between um, each of these. But uh, yeah, next slide. So the ones that we'll kind of like talk about in marketing amplification and brand awareness are the marketing committee, online programs, the blog, um, Cube Weekly, KubeCon Cloud Native Con, where we are right now, and PR and analyst support. And then if we go to the next slide, the things that we talk about in community engagement are the end user case study, ambassador program, Kubernetes partner placement, Kubernetes community days, Linux foundation membership, and Cloud Native TV. And finally, in the thought leadership side, we have governing board participation, uh, the different certification programs like certified Kubernetes, KCSP, and KTPs, market research, uh, TOC contributor, and the interactive landscape placement. Yeah, so that's all the programs at a high level. So yeah, I guess we're done, Charlie. All right, yeah, great session. Uh, let's wrap up. <laughs> that's it, it's time to go. Our job yeah, here is done. Yeah, let's dive into the details. So uh, marketing application and brand awareness. So the first thing is uh, I actually had a message about this this morning uh, asking where can I find a logo to, for KCSP to be on our uh, website. So the great thing about CNCF is we've documented all of our branding guidelines and you can find all of our logos uh, for whatever you need them for all our projects, certifications, uh, memberships, those things um, on our website. So it's really easy to get to. So if you go to the next slide, you can find all of it on github.com slash cncf slash artwork. And you can find every logo in every single format. I think this is an awesome resource for people that need to find things. I know I go here all the time for the different logos that I need. So if you want to pull out something for an event or your website, this is the place to, to go for that. Next slide. Uh, beyond that, if you want to use some of the logos on uh, like t-shirt wear. So this is my logo from the, the last conference and I have another the uh, <laughs> Linux Foundation logo, the, the Finos Foundation. Um, but if you want to get like any other branded stuff, um, so for instance, uh, like you want to get like Kubernetes t-shirts or stickers of those type of things, we do have a CNCF store where you can do that. So um, you can buy these for your meetup, your company, your prize and our event. Um, we're also happy to help produce things if you want to. And uh, as I was saying before, like we have all the logos and Per our trademark guidelines, you can use them for any non-commercial use cases. So you can't set up your own CNCF store and make money off of that. But uh, if you want to have things to hand out at meetups or you have a creative new swag thing that you'd like to hand out at your next event, you are allowed to do that um, per these guidelines. Yeah, and uh, Charlie, do you want to talk a little bit about what's in the picture here? Oh, gosh. Hang on. Can oh. I? Can I go backwards? Yeah, there you go. Did that work? Oh, yes, yeah. excellent. Gosh, isn't it awful? I work for CNCF and I can't. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
<laughs> so yeah, the pictures here, you can actually see we have some really adorable swag um, for the FIPI and Friends program. And like Bill said, you can actually use the FIPI and Friends characters for your own purposes. So if you want to print them individually on t-shirts, if you want mugs, if you want keychains, you're free to do that, which is um, a really, really cool thing that you can do with CNCF. I really love that, that you can use these characters to tell all sorts of different stories. Yep. And uh, I know, uh, shout out to Charlie, she'll be giving a little session on Pippi and Friends later, uh, later today, right? Uh, it's tomorrow. tomorrow. Tomorrow is the Pippi and Friends, okay. yeah, session. So more on that to come later. Yeah, so be sure to stop by our session. Uh, if you love this one, you'll love that one too. So next slide. Uh, so the other thing we talked about was the landscape placement. Uh, various times this has been called uh, the overwhelming, uh, the hellscape, and uh, yeah, like uh, pointless because it's so big. But uh, the great thing about the CNCF landscape is it does really give you a comprehensive overview of everything that's going on um, in the cloud native ecosystem. I know there's so many different projects and I always go here when I need to find out what's going on in a certain area. So yes, it is kind of overwhelming to take in all at once, but I don't think that's actually the way that a lot of people use the landscape. So what they actually do is if you go to the next slide. Uh, oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> we changed a lot in this presentation. <laughs> um, it, what the, the really good thing is to dive down into certain areas. Say you're looking for what container runtime should I use um, in my production environment. You can dive in, see all the different options, like, you know, do, be able to do a little research and you'll have a pretty comprehensive overview of whatever space uh, you're looking at. Um, so that's the way a lot of people use it. Please also like add your projects and products to the landscape. It's always great. And I know a lot of people use it as a great resource um, when they're looking to discover a little bit more about it. So if you haven't yet, please add yourself to the landscape. It's a self-service bot via pull request. All the details are on um, the, uh, the GitHub. So next slide. So the other thing that we can do is social media recognition. Now CNCF is uh, vendor neutral and project impartial, but we do have a large audience that we can help share your message to. So say you came out with a really great new blog article or there's an update to a CNCF project. CNCF is happy to uh, retweet that from the CNCF handle. The two ways to um, do that is to check out the hashtag social media channel in the CNCF Slack um, and or reach out to social at cncf.io. Um, and you can read the full guidelines about like what we can and can't do. It's pretty well defined um, in the, the media guidelines. So next slide. Uh, the next thing that we can do is the online programs. So if you're a member of CNCF, your company is entitled to uh, different online programs. So live webinars, on-demand webinars, the live stream option on Cloud Native Live, and also YouTube playlist submission. So this is a really great way to either uh, create new content and share it with the Cloud Native community, or re uh, reshare kind of content that you already existing have. Um, Remember, so if you go to the next slide. So depending on your membership level, you're entitled to different um, things. But uh, even at the silver membership level, you can have two activities per quarter. Um, so there's a lot of great ways to spread content that you already have. Um, yeah, and next slide. Uh, and they also have a lot of uh, great views. Uh, so for example, um, the, it, last month, the, we had five live streams with an average of 25 viewers, and those live streams afterwards had a total of 3,000 views on YouTube. The same thing with the on-demand webinars, uh, another 3,000 views, live webinars, um, uh, 1,000 views, and the end-user lounge live stream, uh, same thing. So if there's, it's a great way to spread your brand and message um, uh, through the online programs. So next slide. The other thing that you can do is contribute to Cube Weekly. Uh, this is a weekly newsletter that goes out to over 15,000 subscribers. Um, the, the great thing about this is it's taking content from your blog. Say you have a great new technical blog post that you'd like to share, or you wrote something up that you want to share with a wider cloud native community. You can submit it to Cube Weekly, and it goes out to all of our readers. So for example, you can see here, 
uh, the one from a, a couple of weeks ago about like what to expect from KubeCon, Cloud NativeCon, North America. So there's going to be a headline section, there's going to be a technical section, and there's also going to be an editorial um, uh, section too. And the other thing is if you want to propose any content, like please just send it to kubeweekly at cncf.io and we'll get it on the newsletter. So next slide. The other thing is if you want to not just have things on your blog, but also share it with the CNCF blog or the Kubernetes blog, uh, you can do that too. Uh, this is open to both member companies and also people. I know I've helped a lot of people that are working in the Kubernetes community program talk about their story. Um, we've had um, the team from KCD Guatemala talked about like their story and how they got inspired to run one there. The same thing for KCD UK, that one's coming out right after KubeCon. Um, so lots of great ways to share your written message too. Next slide. I can say, and just a, a note on the, the CNCF and the Kubernetes blog. So obviously we run the, the CNCF blog, we curate that content, but the Kubernetes blog is curated by the community and it does need to be Kubernetes content. So just remember that when you're uh, deciding what you want to submit. Oh, and I just saw a question, can the same blog be considered for both Cube Weekly and CNCF? Yes, it can, um, but Cube Weekly, it has to be original content. So make sure you put it there first. So the next slide. Cool. And this is just our guidelines on exactly how to submit to both of these. You can come through the member desk um, or you can email blogs at cncf.io. Cool. Um, and we wanted to show you this slide. So we've started um, contributed content analytics. So this is content for CNCF, not for Cube Weekly or the Kubernetes blog. Um, we've spun up these really nifty analytics dashboards so you can see how your content is performing. We don't have this available for Cube Weekly or the K8s blog purely because they're managed by the community. But for any CNCF content, you've contributed these dashboards are live 24 hours a day, and you can set the searches by all kinds of different time bands, like what's happened in the last year, what's happened in the last week, and you can access them at any time actually using the link uh, that you can see on this slide. And another one. So I'm not sure how many of you um, follow our technology radar. So if you're an end user member, you have the opportunity to participate in this. It's a quarterly technology radar. They're produced by our end user ecosystem team at CNCF. And at the beginning of each quarter, we randomly pick around five end user organizations from the landscape. And we ask, do you want to take part in curating the radar? The process, if you are asked, involves around two Zoom calls with the radar group, plus filming a webinar to discuss the results. And if your company wasn't picked, you can still take part in the voting stage um, to have your voice heard. Your representatives who were specified when you joined, they're going to receive an email each quarter when the votes are open. And if you'd like to be part of the radar, if your company would like to be part, please slack me. Um, Charlie Mann, I'm on the CNCF Slack, we can talk. These get great coverage in places like InfoQ, et cetera, and it's a really great way to, to push your technical spokespeople as thought leaders in the industry. Awesome. And then we've got our end user story elements. So if you have a great vendor neutral story you want to share with the global community, please look no further than this program. It's designed to help you amplify your stories in the best way you can for your organization. We've got a couple of ways you can do this. You can publish a written case study, which appears on the homepage of cncf.io. It's a self-service option and we'll publish anything from one to three case studies each month. Um, we promote these on our social channels as well. So we really try and push that readership up. This is open to any end user organization working with graduated or incubating projects. You don't necessarily have to be a member. Um, for members who are from vendor companies, so if you are building products with cloud native um, projects and then selling them on, we want to stay vendor neutral, but you can write about your end users and we will find a way to mention you. Um, in the case studies. You can also participate in an end user journey report. And this is to demonstrate how your organization has grown as a tech leader, only open to platinum and gold end user members right now. And I'm gonna show you an example of what this looks like in a few minutes. Um, 
as Bill might have mentioned, you can actually participate in the end user lounge live stream. Again, this is with the ecosystem team. This is really fun. You have an, like a direct one-on-one -on -one interview with Katie Kamanji who leads this. Um, and it's a really exclusive live stream for end users designed to showcase how you navigate the cloud native ecosystem. Um, again, open to all end user members. And lastly, you still can leverage the CNCF's online programs to showcase your case study webinars. You can submit a pre-recorded video case study for our YouTube channels. This is open to all CNCF members and you can find all um, of the details on GitHub. Perfect. And this is an example of a recent case study um, that we did with Seagate. We published this at the end of August, um, and it's already the 13th most read case study of the year, which is pretty great for only six weeks. Um, as you can see, we do require a couple of things for a case study to be successful, um, and one is metrics. We really want numbers. Numbers don't have to be financial, but we really want to find out how cloud-native projects have made your business successful. And as I mentioned um, just a couple of minutes ago, this is what an end user journey report looks like. This was our very first end user journey report with Spotify and published it just a couple of weeks ago. These reports are a real deep dive. They highlight the active end user community members and they demonstrate how these organizations grow um, as technology leaders and how they benefit from the wider cloud native community. It, it is a lot more involved than a case study if you do want to take part, but we ensure these receive really good promotion and media outreach. So if you are interested, if you represent a gold or a platinum member organization, please reach out to me directly on Slack and we can talk. So, and now we are on to community engagement. Cool, perfect. And this is what I get excited about because, you know, meeting and interacting people, I think is the best part about the cloud native community. Everyone's super friendly and we love, you know, uh, chatting and um, being, being friends with each other. Um, and so a great way to kind of like build your local community is to uh, join a cloud native community group. So <laughs> this was previously our meetups program and what these are is a way for people in the local area, say in your city or in your region, um, connect and, uh, and build, build a community uh, with one another. And you'll find them, if we go to the next slide, um, all around the world. So you can explore it by your, your region. Uh, I know there's, I think there's like 300 different um, uh, meetup groups or cloud native community groups all around the world. There's also ones for different projects. So if you want to connect with people in your local area or, you know, find more about, about a project, then this is kind of your place to go. So next slide. The other thing that we do is have ambassadors. And these are the people out there promoting the CNCF brand. A lot of them run cloud native community groups, but some of them do other things in the community and the ecosystem too. If you want to you know, really get connected and like plugged into people who know a lot about the ecosystem, check out our ambassadors. There's more than likely one in your local area. Um, they're great resources of people. They're the people organizing the community, um, chatting uh, with the community. So please feel free to jump into the ambassadors and uh, chat, chat with them there. So next slide. The other program that I run that I really love is the Kubernetes Community Day program. Um, I'm really biased because it's my program, but it's actually my <laughs> favorite program at CNCF. And so what these are is kind of like the next level up from the cloud native community groups. It's you know lo local regional conferences um, that are run by the community. Um, KubeCon is great, but I think the fun thing about KCDs is it brings kind of like the local flair and the local people um, uh, and brings them together in the in the cloud native community. Um, go through the slide deck, check out the blog post that talks kind of about it, and you can see uh, different KCDs that are launched right now on cloud native community group. So next slide. Like for example, the ones that are being run right now uh, is in just this past month we had KCD Korea with twelve hundred attendees and KCD UK with three hundred and forty one attendees, and even more online. 
it's going to be super packed going into the end of the year. I thought it was going to slow down after KubeCon, but people are so excited about the Kubernetes community days that we're going to have a ton of them going into the end of the year. So KCD Italy, KCD Washington, DC, KCD Indonesia, uh, shout out to uh, Giri. I met him in person for the first time last night uh, at KubeCon, which is really exciting. KCD China, KCD uh, Guatemala and KCD Pakistan. So events really all around the world. There's probably one in your local region. If there's not, uh, you can organize it. And guess what? The best thing is, oh, not the maybe maybe the worst thing depends on your perspective. Is you get to meet with me every single month. Uh, <laughs> we get we get to chat too. So please submit your event today or reach out to me if you have any questions. Another thing that we have is. Uh, the speaking at KubeCon. Um, obviously, this is what we're doing right now. And we'll, I'm going to run over to the sessions before, or you can run over virtually. After this, the sessions are going to be started. Uh, this is, you know, really the place where Cloud Native comes together to connect, uh, share with each other on the cutting edges. I know a lot of people like launch things or discuss what, what's coming up next in the Cloud Native ecosystem at KubeCon. The CFP for EU is still open. So if you want to speak at KubeCon, like please submit your talk today. Um, I know a lot of people are getting ideas at KubeCon uh, from all the sessions that they're having and it'll help them create their uh, CFP for EU too. So next slide. Okay. There we go. Um, the other thing that's great uh, about KubeCon is we have so many co-located events. So these are the events that have been happening the last two days. Uh, we originally, it was just one day, like day zero, but now it's day, I guess, negative one and day zero. <laughs> um, and it keeps on expanding because there's so many great things happening around the ecosystem. You know, this is kind of the things that are growing in cloud native and it's more focused on a specific project. So we have things like supply chain security con, production identity day, promcom around Pr Prometheus, Envoy con, um, and there's a lot of like cool things to, to check out. So if you haven't seen them already, um, you, you missed out this time, but sign up for them next time and the events will be going up on YouTube. So next slide. There's even more um, now, like this is really, I think we're kind of like, if you want to learn about like where Cloud Native is going and the cutting edge of it, like check out the co-located events because these are kind of like the up and coming topics that everyone is talking about. So things like GitOps, things like developer experience. Um, this is really <clears throat> where you learn kind of where Cloud Native is going next or share what you're doing to drive Cloud Native forwards. So next slide. Um, Charlie, is this one yours? I think it was yours, but I can talk okay. about it. If you want. <laughs> sure. Okay. Um, so we have um, a CNCF Community Speakers Bureau. And basically what we want to do is we want to help connect people with expertise about our different projects and about different areas in the cloud native community to groups who want to learn about that. So if you have a meetup group, you can come on to our CNCF Speakers Bureau. You can search for speakers by their area of expertise, where they are in the world. We have over 300 speakers. Um, this is really fantastic. All of them are really genuinely lovely people and they will come to your event and they will help you learn whatever it is that you want to learn. We've had a little update to this. Um, we've launched project pages um, for our individual CNCF hosted projects. So you can also now find speakers through that if that's easier for you. Okay. Oh, and our job board. I actually learned... Um, Actually, something really interesting um, about the jobs board that we have over 5,600 job seekers who've applied for a job since we launched this. This is insane. Um, and actually, on a personal level, I started working with the CNCF through a contract job that I saw posted on this jobs board. So if you want to take advantage of this as a member and post your jobs here, You'll attract great candidates, obviously, like me, um, but also people who are super experienced in all kinds of CNCF projects. Um, people really do use this to, uh, to connect to the jobs that they want to go into next. Um, what's our next one, Bill? Yeah, so the, the next one is the, all the stuff we're doing with students and mentoring. Um, so <clears throat> if you're a student, uh, I had a session yesterday talking about all the different resources. You can check out the video right now on our Twitch live stream. Um, but the two things that I want to check out is the students repo. It's also uh, github.com slash CNCF slash students. And you can find 
more resources for getting started in the ecosystem. And also we have paid mentorships or like internship opportunities to work on uh, open source projects. So these are two great programs that I highly encourage uh, students to get involved in and really anyone new to the cloud native ecosystem. Next slide. The other thing that we have is cloud native TV. Um, this is really a program started like by the community for the community and it's a way to have more interactive experiences. Uh, so actually you're experiencing it right now. We're live streaming to you, you know, interacting and um, chatting about like your questions in real time. We have a bunch of great show hosts uh, from all around the community covering things, different things like how to contribute to projects, uh, projects 101. There's a game show, like putting things in production, talking about the crossover between um, art and like technology. So if you want to learn more about the cloud native ecosystem, there's lots of great live streams uh, all the time. Um, yeah, and come back here to cloud native TV, click that uh, subscribe um, button so you always stay informed with what's going on here. So next slide. The other thing that we have is a member referral program. Um, and this is great, not only because you're helping grow the cloud native ecosystem, but also uh, that you uh, get a social, uh, like a benefit out of it too. Um, if you give us an introduction, we'll give you shout outs um, or credits or like uh, a ticket to a different CNCF event. And if you, if the, your referral actually becomes a member or supporter, we help uh, give you a webinar or a homepage blog promotion. So not only are you helping grow the cloud native ecosystem, but you're also helping grow your brand too. So next slide. And the last section we're talking about today is thought leadership. Um, I think this might be um, one of mine. So if you are, are looking to um, contribute thought leadership into the CNCF ecosystem, um, we would love you to become a contributor. Um, there's a couple of ways that you can do this. One of the things that we've started recently is the Cloud Native Glossary. So this is a community initiative and the whole idea is to demystify Cloud Native concepts. So this includes explanations for the most common terms and tooling that you'll discover. Um, you can contribute new terms and you can also contribute language translations. Like I think we have Spanish translations coming and um, you can find the glossary under the link in this presentation. And this is a really great way I think, to both get started contributing and dip your feet in the water. But it's also a great way to lend the thought leadership um, of very experienced practitioners in your organization to a really important topic. Um, and as we say on the slide, um, if you want to come and contribute to this, you know, you can put it on LinkedIn, you can put it on your CV, and it really will boost that employability um, factor that's so important today in this really competitive industry. We also have the cloud native maturity model. This is another new initiative. This launched literally just weeks ago. Um, you may have heard Bill like joking earlier about the landscape slash hellscape. So this model is actually designed to like further demystify the landscape and it's really to help organizations who are just on their road to cloud native um, and explaining what happens at each step of the journey. And if you want to hear more about the work this group produces, it's called the Cartographos Group. Please make sure you catch Admiral Bash's Island Adventure uh, with Fippy and Friends. It's a book reading. It's tomorrow at 11 a.m. It's going to be live at the LA Convention Center, and it's also going to be on the virtual platform. And this is a really fantastic introduction to the kind of really fun but really important work that this group are doing. And I know I've been working with them. They are actively looking for contributors. So this is another really great way um, to get involved. What are we on next? Aha, training. So as you may know, uh, we are the home of Kubernetes and we really want to make the community as successful as possible. So we offer certified and recognized training and we also offer certifications for organizations. Um, as you can see from the numbers on this slide, we have seen a huge uptick in folks who want to get certified and organizations that want to get certified. Um, and according to the Linux Foundation and edX, they do this open source jobs report every year. And in 2020, 52% of hiring managers said they're more likely to hire someone with certification. And that's up from 47% a couple of years ago. So it's only a small change, 
but it's a change. Um, and as members of CNCF, there are discounts available for you on these trainings. Um, you need to have a look again at your membership level to see what's open to you. Um, but these are available. I'm really happy to help sort of answer any questions and connect you to the right trainings for your organization or for you individually. Um, we can take you through some of the most popular certifications that we offer. So we have certified Kubernetes conformance. So this program kind of has three benefits and it's for your organization. So obviously consistency, any Kubernetes user wants consistency when they're interacting with any installation of Kubernetes. Um, you also have to make sure that you provide timely updates. Now, if you're going to go down this path and get certified, and you need to remain certified, you need to provide the latest version of Kubernetes yearly or more frequently. So you can be sure you'll always have access to the latest features that the community has been working on. Um, and lastly, there's confirmability. So end users must be able to confirm their distribution or platform remains conformant by running an identical open source conformance application that was used to certify. We really encourage organizations to look for products that display the certified Kubernetes logo if they want to install Kubernetes. So if you are a vendor, if this is something that you'd like to do, please do consider um, getting your conformance because you get to display this lovely sticker um, on your products. We also have a certified Kubernetes service uh, provider program. So if you'd like your organization to become a certified provider, again, a couple of requirements, three or more of your engineers have to pass the CKA exam. This is the Certified Kubernetes Administrator exam. Um, and it's basically to prove that you have the skills and the knowledge and the competency to perform all the responsibilities of Kubernetes administrators. Um, you need to have a business model that supports enterprise end users, and you need to be a CNCF member. Um, I can show you here right now, we have 222 certified service providers. All of their logos are also on the CNCF website. So when companies are looking for a Kubernetes service provider, they often come to the website and choose somebody who they know has been certified by CNCF. And at a, an even deeper level, um, we have the Kubernetes uh, Training Partners Program. So if folks are looking for specialized training that maps directly to the certified Kubernetes administrator that I talked about, that certification, um, and also the certified Kubernetes application developer exams, there's a lot of acronyms in CNCF, I'm sorry. Um, you can choose from a list of these KTPs, uh, who've passed this qualification process, it's highly rigorous. Um, it's a much tougher set of criteria, as you can see by this slide, the requirements to become a certified training partner. So there aren't as many um, of these, but you can see all these logos again on our website. And if you are looking for a training partner, of course, you can come to any one of these and know in confidence that you're going to be getting absolutely top notch service. And I think this was um, back to you, Bill, for explaining a little bit about how you um, you get a project in the sandbox. Yeah, absolutely. So CNCF currently has 114 projects under its umbrella. Um, I, I know a lot of people think of just, you know, the graduated ones like Kubernetes and Prometheus, but there's so many more and there's so much more happening in the cloud native ecosystem. And, you know, the great thing about donating projects to CNCF and why people are doing it is we provide, you know, that vendor neutral home to let projects grow and flourish on their own. Um, and there is a lot of reasons to donate to a foundation uh, if you're thinking about it, but um, we are here to support you on the journey and we would love to uh, have you consider donating your project to the CNCF sandbox. Um, and there's a whole process for this, um, but the great thing that it does is, you know, provide an ability to uh, have the community come together without having to worry about where the project is going or if one company is going to own it. Um, so if you go to uh, the next slide, there's lots of reasons to like host at CNCF. It provides the uh, vendor neutral home. Uh, you get a, a lot of resources like marketing, uh, technical resources like cloud credits. There'll be like more announcements about that coming up. Um, and yeah, if you're considering doing it, uh, please feel free to like reach out to me and I can connect you with the right people in the organization. We'd love to have you consider CNCF as the home for your cloud native project. Yeah, so next slide. 
The last thing we're going to talk about today is the member resources. Uh, if you're a CNCF member, um, please, uh, you can go to member.cncf.io and this will give you resources to all the things we went in the presentation. So I know we went through a lot of information today, but if you want to do something like how do I submit a blog post or how do I like get into the Slack channel, this is a great resource for you to dive into to answer those questions and submitting that will like get, get you an answer um, as, as fast as possible. Um, so go, go to the member desk if you have any questions. So ne next slide. Um, yeah, and this is kind of like the, the feedback that you can do. Um, the other way to reach out to us is just info at cncf.io. Uh, also, Charlie and I are both in the CNCF Slack. Please feel free to reach out to us there if you have any questions. Um, I know I had some this morning about like different, how to get involved in different programs. Always happy to help answer and help people, you know, build their brand in the cloud native community. So next slide. And the last thing I want to say is the community is always hiring. Um, there are so many ways to get involved. We would love to have you help grow and spread the voice of Cloud Native. Uh, there's all these programs to take advantage of, and we would love to have you do that. So with that, next slide. Feel free to contact us at any point if you have any questions. Uh, my email is there. My Twitter is there. You can also just like book a meeting with me. Um, I know Charlie's contact information is there too. Um, yeah, and if you have any questions, like please feel free to drop them in the chat and we can help answer them now. Um, yeah. So the first one is, is membership only for companies? Uh, yeah, so membership is only for companies. Um, but there's so many ways uh, that individuals can get involved too. It, it's free to contribute to any open source project under CNCF umbrellas. Um, the uh, like bigger programs are just for things that are more focused on like uh, like that companies would take advantage of. But you as an individual contributor like don't have to pay anything to uh, contribute to CNCF. Um, there's a question like how do we get um, a link to these slides. Let me drop them in the chat one more time so you can have them. Yep. So there's a slide deck for anybody that needs it. We'll also be um, posting this afterwards and this recording will be available on YouTube afterwards too. Um, how to contribute to CNCF. Uh, that's a lot bigger discussion. I'd highly recommend you check out the uh, College to Cloud Native student session that I did yesterday. You're, if you're on, watching on Cloud Native TV, you can find it under the video sections at the bottom, and that'll go into how to contribute to CNCF. Any more questions from the audience, things that we can help out with? Uh, we would love to have you uh, build your brand and spread the Cloud Native voice. If not, uh, Charlie, any last parting words you'd like to say? I think that was really fun. And it was actually so nice to, I mean, obviously not meet folks in person, <laughs> but speak to people face to face. <laughs> um, I see a lot of people are asking how to get into the CNCF Slack bill. You just, you can just join yeah. up if you're a, a Slack user. Um, you can come into the CNCF workspace. Um, it is open. Bill's just posted the link. It's slack.cncf.io. Um, once you're in there, it's probably going to look pretty blank. But once you start searching through our groups, we have tons of groups available. Um, yeah. Um, it, I think it that's, feeling. that's really odd. Uh, the link is being updated. I, I saw some messages in the back end. There's actually so many people joining uh, the CNCF Slack right now because of KubeCon that we've uh, broken the link. Just like check back shortly and it should be fixed. Um, I love not, it. We broke the internet. We actually did it. <laughs> yeah. Um, all of you like are so excited about the cloud native community um, that <laughs> you broke our website. So um, <laughs> if it's not working for you right now, just uh, like refresh it in a little bit and you'll be able to um, do that. So cool. Any more questions? Otherwise, um, I know I'm going to probably run over to the keynotes. Uh, I actually have to <laughs> like walk over there. So that's something I have to do. Uh, everyone that else that's joining virtually um, or online, um, you can just you know take your coffee break, uh, <laughs> go grab something to eat, and just hop back to your uh, computer. Um, so see you either in person. You can catch me on the hallways or reach out to me on any of 
the, the channels above. So, yeah. Perfect. Um, yeah, I'm not going to be there, but feel free to reach out to me on Slack anytime. I'm based in Berlin, so forgive me if I don't respond overnight. It's, uh, yeah. All right. It's hard with all these time zones. Yeah, it's a, it's always a, <laughs> it's always an adventure at CNCF. <laughs> That we have such a global community um, and it's great to have you along to uh, build your brand with us. So thanks everyone. See you later. Thanks all.